Hi everybody, my name is Miss Ludwig and I will be teaching the Earth and Environmental Science course this semester. I wanted to make you a quick video just to say hey and point out some important things in the Canvas course and get you started on your assignments for the week. So right now I'm on the home page for the Earth and Environmental Science class. Uh, the first important thing I'd like to point out is that there are announcements at the top. Um, so you'll have to actually click on that announcement in order to open it and read the whole thing. I figured that it might be easier to use announcements that are posted right to the home page so that when you open your class, it's right there for you to read rather than making you go back and forth to your email. Uh, you should still check your email for sure. There's lots of good stuff in your school email, but I just discovered this announcement feature. And so I'm going to try that um, to kind of keep you updated all in one place. As you scroll down, the other important thing on the home page is the week at a glance. So the week at a glance is going to show you, first of all, what week we're working on. So check the date, make sure you're working in the right week. It gives you a quick overview of what's happening this week. Uh, the most important part is probably what is due this week. These are the things that should be turned in and submitted by Sunday, January 10th in order to get a grade. And then lastly, just a quick preview of what we'll be doing next week. Um, so next week we will officially begin learning science, okay? So once you've checked that out, you can go ahead and click on the modules tab. And that will bring you to our uh, first week's unit, which is called unit zero. We are not actually going to start earth and environmental science this week. We are going to start by um, just getting familiar with the setup of the course and introducing each other. Um, I need to get a little bit of basic information from you, um, you know, parent contact stuff. And then um, I just kind of wanted to give you a week to, to get settled and get ready to do this, okay? So as you can see, um, each module will be pretty much set up the same. You will get a new module each week. I will publish that module on Monday morning at some point, probably during WIN. Um, and then you can work through your weekly assignments, start at the top, click on everything, do everything that's there. It's there for a reason. Um, scroll down, you should get little green check marks. They don't look exactly like this, but as you complete each assignment, there will be a green check mark. As you can see underneath it, it tells you what you need to do in order to get a check mark for that assignment. So in order to get a check mark for unit overview, you have to click on it, open it and actually read it. Um, and then as you scroll on, you see a let's get started. So a lot of times um, just basic overview information or maybe a video that I make for you like this will be hanging out up here. Let's get started means this is your actual assignment work. Let's start learning some things. So this week we are going to meet the teacher. That's me. Uh, read a little bit about me. You are going to introduce yourself to your classmates you make, um, using Flipgrid. So, and that'll be due, as you can see in the little gray marks here, it is due on January 10th. It's worth 20 points and you have to mark it done in order to get the little green check mark to the right, okay? There's a general course overview that you can read to get familiar with how this course will be set up. There is a halfway there mark, so to kind of pace yourself, I'm going to publish a module on Monday and everything will be due by that Sunday at midnight. So um, I'm not going to tell you what day specifically to do which assignments, but just know you should be doing probably a couple of assignments each day in this course um, in order to stay on top of things and turning things in on time. So the halfway there mark is kind of to give you a, a a clue and think about well you know halfway there should be done by like Wednesday and that means you're you're in good shape if you're not opening this course until Wednesday you're going to be behind there is a quick student survey where I can um, it's a Google form and you can give me some basic information about yourself there are some tips for success from me so how can you be successful in this class you will make a discussion post on that. And then the wrap it up at the end is kind of like the unit summary. This is how you know that you're about done with these assignments this week. Um, there'll be a nice unit summary that tells you what you should have learned this week and kind of round out that, make sure you've done all your assignments. And then you can take a quiz or some kind of assessment at the end of the week um, to make sure you're on the right track, okay? So each uh, week module will basically be set up in the same fashion. So best thing to do is click on the very first thing, open it up and read it. Guys, this is an online class. Um, you will not be learning from me in face to face. This is a class that you're taking outside of all of your other eighth grade courses. So this is something that's going to be needed to work on at home. You have to read things and you have to watch videos. Um, the fact that you are taking this course with me right now means that you're probably already a rock star at doing that. So um, I'm happy to be working with you, but I just wanted to point that out real quick. So quickly, unit overview. Yeah, you should read it. I'll be putting this video right in here. 
then you can simply just click the next button to move on to the next page. There is a meet the teacher. You can read just a little bit about me um, in case you don't know me already. Click the next button. And this will take you to your first assignment that does count as a grade for the week. So you are going to be making a Flipgrid video, uh, just a short little thing. If you've never used Flipgrid before, I've given you some instruction here, but it's pretty self-explanatory. You'll click on the link to open up that um, website and make your video. I've given you a prompt so you know exactly what to say in the video. And um, I will post my own video in there as an example so you can watch mine and then go ahead and make yours, okay? Then, once you have done that successfully, click on the next button. This brings you to the general course overview of this class. Um, I do want to point out, you need to read this on your own, but that this is a high school class. So in order to get credit for Earth and Environmental Science and not have to take it again, you need to make either an A or a B in this class, and you also have to make an A or a B on the final exam in order to get credit. If you do not do those two things, then you have to take this class again in ninth grade. So you probably don't want to do that. So make sure that you're doing your assignments um, and getting them turned in on time so you can get full credit, okay? Um, here is the basic uh, idea of what we'll be learning about in this unit. We'll have five units and then um, some final exam review before you actually take your final exam. I'm not exactly sure when that is yet, but it'll probably be in May. Um, this tells you about that we have weekly modules, when things are due, how to pace yourself, and how to contact me. Best way to contact me is to email me, guys. Um, I'm also in the eighth grade building on the rocket team in room 2001 upstairs. Um, so you can always come and see me during win is a really good time. If you actually need some help on something, you need me to like look at the computer with you and help you through it, that is fine. Uh, just let your teacher know, okay? Click on the next button. We have that student survey. Now this is a Google form. So I haven't done a lot of Google forms this year, but just so you know, when you click on that, you need to be able to finish it in one setting. There is no save button. So you have to do the whole form and then hit submit at one time. If you start it and you don't have enough time to finish it, you're gonna have to start all over again the next time. So make sure you have enough time. Um, it's not a huge assignment, um, but also make sure that you have your parent or guardian, somebody responsible that you live with that helps you with your schoolwork. Um, make sure you have their phone numbers, names, email addresses before you start this form because I need that information, okay? Next. We have some basic tips for success, just things that I think um, will help you be successful in this course. Read all of that, please. And then that will bring you to your next assignment, which is just a discussion post. So I would like you to share one tip that has helped you be successful in online learning. Um, odds are you already are successful in online learning. We have all experienced some remote learning so far this year. Um, and the fact that you guys are here with me second semester means that you've probably been doing a pretty good job at this. Um, but I've given you a little bit of direction, some uh, discussion starters if you're not sure what to say. You can answer one of these questions or more than one of these questions. And then how to get full credit for your assignment, okay? Feel free to respond to other students. Just always be nice. <laughs> nice and respectful. Um, that brings us to our unit zero summary. This week you should have. These are the things that you should have completed and made sure you did. If you didn't, go back and finish them. And then last but not least, just a quick like five question quiz um, on the things that I have taught you this week. So things about the quiz, you can take it up to two times and I will always take your highest grade, um, but you should obviously try to do well the first time around. Make sure you're prepared before you take a quiz at the end of the week. Uh, make sure you've done all of your assignments before you take a quiz at the end of the week because that quiz, guess what? It's asking you questions on what you should have done this week. So make sure that you're uh, doing that appropriately, okay? So I will go back to the modules. I will give you a quick preview of what's coming up next week because you can't see it yet. Next week, we will start our unit one, Earth in the Universe. There's an overview in long-term learning targets. We will probably work on this unit for about four weeks. So next week, you'll just do the first week. It's called unit one, week one. We'll talk about where the Earth is in reference to everything else in space um, and then move on from there, okay? So if you have any questions at all, please feel free to email me, M-O-Ludwick, um, or you can come see me during WIN. Um, I'll be happy to meet you, okay? Good luck with everything. Have a great week. Let me know if you have any issues.